2nd May 2023 started off as any other regular day for the students of MMU. Little did we know that our much-awaited Freshers event was going to be announced on the same day and we would finally get to interact with our juniors. It was scheduled for the 12th of May which meant that we had hardly 10 days to prepare for such a huge event. Everyone was super excited and high on energy. I on the other hand was very very upset. I was supposed to leave for Bangalore on 11th of May which was just one day before the freshers and everything was booked, no tickets were refundable and I was travelling with my cousin sister and we had hoped for a solo trip for so long and I didn't want to cancel. But I decided that I would still participate in the practices as much as I can. We had a little meeting in the common room and decided on who was going to head which committee and also had a formal introduction session with our juniors. We were divided into 10 groups of 30 members each, 15 seniors and 15 juniors. The seniors are supposed to mentor the juniors and make them practice their ramp walks. The culture of a medical college is honestly so unique and so different from any other college. While we're making them practice, seniors from other badges, third, fourth and even interns can come into the practice and ask for them to walk and they're supposed to wish the seniors and introduce themselves, tell them where they're from etc etc. During freshers, our studies really take a backseat in college. Professors also become lenient and we mostly skip classes to organize and prep for the event. That's why I try to incorporate at least 45 minutes of studying early in the morning. This is where Prep Ladder has been such a help to me. The videos are so concise and I can cover a topic that would otherwise take me at least 2-3 to three hours to understand on my own in just 30-60 to 60 minutes. I honestly haven't studied in classes at all in second year and at this point I cannot imagine what I would have done if I didn't have Prep Ladder. Here I am doing pathology from Dr. Preeti Sharma who is an absolute favourite. She has made pathology such a breeze for me and it's definitely my fave now. The next day we got a little cake for our juniors to cut after practice. Then I went for the Bhangra practice to help in conducting auditions for the juniors. After coming back to the hostel, all of us gathered in the common room to make the invites for the event. I absolutely love the feeling of coming back to my room, all tired and completely exhausted after a long day. At this point, I like to just get into my bed and solve the question bank on the Prep Ladder app before calling it a day. It's a great way to study and feel like you're on track, even when you're all tired and don't feel like doing anything. After solving a few questions, I just hit the pillow and snooze. The next day, we assumed the work on the decor followed by the ramp box and the cultural practices. On Saturday, we worked in the invites and since this was the only weekend before freshers, everybody was leaving after college to go home and get their dresses and stuff. So were my two friends, so I decided to go with them. And obviously at this point, it was really starting to hit me that I'm actually not going to be here for freshers and I was very confused because obviously freshers is a once in a lifetime thing. So I went to an astro talk and I asked all of these astrologers about whether I should go to Bangalore or if I should stay back and attend the freshers. <laughs> we went to Apra's house. Her parents were the sweetest. Her mom made us the best food ever. And her dad was so cute as well. And I asked him as well what I should do and he suggested me to stay for freshers. And so guess what guys, I decided yeah. to stay back. We came back to college on Monday morning and I got my hair washed first and then we had a lot of work to do. This was I think the busiest day.
came back to the hostel and made a quick dinner for myself before heading to the common room for the Bhangra practice. The next day we had a full run through post lunch but before that we had to beg for attendance. <laughs> you can see us struggling for the same here. We went for the practices in the evening only to be informed that the practices have been suspended because of some inspection going on in college and so we had to practice outdoors. The next day also the practices were completely called off and people were suspecting that the pressures might be postponed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did in fact get postponed and I was just so 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 upset. I came back to my room and I was crying and crying for hours. This was obviously such a shock to me because I had cancelled my tickets, my entire trip with my sister just for pleasures and I asked the management a million times if there was any possibility of it being postponed and they always refused. The dates would have aligned perfectly had I not cancelled my tickets but I realized that truly truly God has a plan for everything and things always work out for the better because the next couple of days were just so much fun. We went out to hand over the invites and I also ended up doing two of the things that I really really wanted to do which was a Bollywood dance and comparing which is anchoring for the event. Full attendance today without attending a single class. Best day of our lives. <laughs> On Saturday, we decided to cancel the practice and took our juniors out for a very cute little dinner. Monday, that is the day before freshers, was such a hectic day. I was called to the auditorium for the mic practice for the anchoring. Then we had to do a choreography on a couple of Bollywood songs that we decided just like less than a day before freshers. Then we had a final practice with the juniors for their ramp walks. And we ended the day by giving a little pizza party to our juniors. And it was really, really emotional because it was the last practice.
The entire Freshers Week and the event itself was just so so much fun. I really did not want it to be over and honestly I had a crazy hangover about it as well. I came back to my room and I just did not change for like 4-5 hours. I did not take my sari off or my makeup. Eventually my friend had to come and forcefully <laughs> get me to take my makeup off because I just did not want it to end. It was just such a cute little week. But then sadly, it was time to pack up and get back to reality, <laughs> which is college. And the next day, everybody was so sleepy and fast. If you like the vlog, guys, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.